Hello guys, welcome to my guide on how to overclock your GTX 1050 Ti. I'll leave the timestamps on the description in case you want to skip directly to the settings and you don't want to hear the explanation. So it's a 1050 Ti from Gigabyte. As you can see, it has the default clocks right now. I have my sensor open to see the clocks and temperatures. We'll be using MS Afterburner, but just for monitoring with River Tuner. If I don't have MSI, I don't see the River Tuner statistics, so I leave it open. But on the default settings, we'll be using Gigabyte Extreme Gaming to overclock. I chose to use Gigabyte Extreme because it's from the same brand as my card, so I guess it has better, how to say, optimization. And I can change my fan speed and light colors too here, so I stick with this. Uh, out of the box, you get three settings: OC, gaming, and eco. Those are all sh kind of shitty. Okay, I have a uh, eco enabled. To benchmark live, I'll be using Valley Benchmark. It's free. You can download it. Let's give it a first try. I have to say guys that my card is really good out of the box. I have a really good silicon lottery here. As you can see I'm already getting 1800 on the clock speeds with just the eco mode. I'm going to change to the OC mode. It's the highest out of the box setting you get with this software. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Already hitting almost 1900, not there yet. Okay, so the OC I found worked really, really good. Is this one okay? Let me explain to you GPU voltage. I put it to 100% because I found the Reddit post. A guy asking if he could overclock his 1060. The one said in Pascal, which is this card's architecture, it's 100% safe, safe as long as the temps are in check. My temps were in check, and if this guy says so, it's ready, so you can trust it. Power limit, this should be no problem. I read it's pretty safe to crank it up to the top, and temperature limit is self explanatory. To the interesting part, which is this memory clock plus a thousand. I found it on some overclocking guides. Some guys got it to a thousand stable, so I don't mess with this pretty, pretty much because my games don't usually uh, eat a lot of VRAM, so I just keep it here. It it is fine for now. GPU clock. Uh, plus a thousand twenty-five. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Depending on the game, on the benchmark, you can get more clocking or less clocking. With this, I'm gonna get okay two thousand twenty-five, as expected. I could crank it up to one thousand forty, one one thousand one hundred forty, one hundred one hundred fifty, but it gets uh, a little unstable, so I keep it here. Mm, I found the best uh, way to benchmark this is in the Overwatch lobby, the game. If I have it on 140, the game crashes on the lobby. If I have uh, 130, it doesn't crash. So I keep it 5 uh, points lower and it's fine. I don't get crashes on any games anytime. Uh, right now we are hitting above. Uh, 2000 megahertz with this card, which is pretty cool. The mem clock is not bad, I'm hitting pretty nice frames. You can see it's all in ultra. So, here are the settings uh, copy them and try them yourself. Now, I think I'm gonna open up some games for you to see how it goes. So, see you in a moment. 
Hello guys, we're playing Rocket League right now. As you can see, we're hitting really nice frame rates. And a core clock speed 2000. Not bad, not bad. Rocket League is not a really demanding game, so that should be expected. Have to say it's uh, to the max settings, so yeah. Let's try and score a goal here. Oh shit. Nice bump. So, see you in the next game. We are now on CSGO. Give it a try. I haven't warmed up yet, so keep that in mind. It's on the highest settings as well. Let's see how we do here. Go, 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 go. Go shot, go shot. Let's go, my friend. One is me. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. Alright, alright. Some headshot. Ready. Beside. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, really bad. No warm up, so it's normal, it's normal. Shit, shit, shit. Three guys. Don't push, don't push, don't push. Oh shit. Okay, so that's it for CSGO. Right now we are on GTA 5. Not bad FPS. Let's see the settings. Mm, here. Shit. Graphical, take tax 11, 1080, refresh rate, it's okay for my, my monitor, Async off, high, very high, high, very high, 16 times, Okay, not bad graphical settings, not bad. It's a pretty nice game. Let's do some naughty stuff with this. Bah, bah, shit. I haven't warmed up. I can see us go, so. That doesn't count. Oh, shit. I like this car, let's take it. Oh shit! Whoa, people is crazy, my friend. Let's go. You can see we're still hit the 2000 megahertz. Whoops! Oh, fucking smart, my friend. Let's go. Pop, pop. Okay, I want that bike. Nice shot. What you want? What you want? That bad bike. Let's try to get it to high speed. Turn this off. Okay, that. Oh, sorry, my friend. Sorry. Frame rate stays around 60. It's rather nice. Oh, shit. I think I leave it here for GTA. you right now we are on PUBG right now you can see my settings on my other video but in case you missed that here they are 1080 high 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 no v-sync I'm gonna try to die fast where should we go 
Where does people go nowadays? I don't know this map very well. Let's jump here, why not? Have company? Yeah, there's some guys there. Okay, not bad. Let's try and go to them. Okay, we might be able to get some kills here. Why not? Let's see. Backpack. Stone helmet. Not really useful. Oh, this is nice. Uh, and the gun. Yeah. Okay, we're all set. Let's try and get someone. PUBG is by far the most demanding game of the list, so. I don't know which map is more demanding, this one or the old one. I think there's a guy in here. Hello? Anyone? Hello? Yeah, those are steps. Here. Hello? Hello? Not bad. This is for me. Thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna suicide. Why not? Let's see. But smart suicide. Uh. This on fire test first. Okay, I'll throw this. Throw that. All right. Alright, see you later. <coughs> oh, no die. No problem. See you. Okay, so as you guys could see, we've been through some games with this configuration. We're hitting around 2000 megahertz clock speed. We could get it higher. I got it higher earlier when I was testing with this to 130, 35, but I keep it low in case of I don't want to get crashes when I'm playing, so keep it here. Pretty nice, pretty nice frame rates. I had my GPU Z open all this time. As you can see, you just tested PUBG. Here it is. Let's see your uh, maximum clock speed 2025. Not bad, not bad. And now let's see our maximum temps. Only 62 degrees. Not bad. Okay, so that's all for now, guys. If you have any questions or you want to ask something, leave a comment or message me directly. Thank you and see you next time.